Sorry for the delay, guys and girls. Just a bit of miscommunication. But we're up and running. This is the men's final. It is best of seven, and it's between Josh Sanderson and Daz Cheatham. Your referee is Brian Moss. Your commentator is Chris Patient, and your stream provider is Beard Productions. And we're all at Golden 8 Ball here in Blackpool. Looking forward to this one. So, who won the lag? It looks like Daz Cheetham to me. So, Daz the break in this first frame. And uh, it's dry. And these red balls, I don't see too much of a problem here. The one over the centre leads to the one between the red, yellow and black and if, if he's not happy it goes in there it definitely goes in the centre from the other side oh pretty sure he doesn't know how he's found that gap wasn't expecting it but you can play this one by the yellow now and kind of soft screw it's a bit risky though to be honest soft screwing it off two rails and trying to come underneath the middle of the three yellows maybe a better choice to reroute entirely Although, not sure if that's got there either. May just have the edge of this red. It's risky playing it from this red, because position on the lowest one. Because uh, if you don't land on it, you're on nothing. Needs to hit this yellow. Oh, he's missed it. Close, so we're out of position a little bit here. Not sure if this doubles on. Doesn't look like it to me. I think he needs to play in the one into the top left. Probably stun off three rails. I don't think you can get into the cue ball enough to hold it up. Uh, maybe you can. It looks thicker than I thought. So just a. Oh no. He has lost the cue ball. A touch. <laughs> Very much chasing this finish though. Nice cue in that, very nice cue in indeed. So I'm pretty sure he can pot this red by the yellow and just kind of take his medicine. There you go. 
And if this eight ball passes between the yellows, even better. So you can play it with a nice confident stroke and just come above the eight instead of having to baby it in. If you have to baby this in, queuing over especially, it, it's a tough shot. So yeah, he's come above the eight and uh, hit it a bit thin into the pocket there, so he has lost the cue ball a touch. And uh, if this was tight, it's not going to be any easier from distance. So by the thing is he's looking about paying it off the yellow. Oh no, no he's changed his mind again and looking at cutting it across the cutting it across the table. I think I prefer it off the yellow to be honest. Because you're almost straight behind it, I think. But he's made a good effort. Oh what a shot. Great bit of cue in that. Under pressure. Big final. So Josh to break again. And uh, it's gotta be said <laughs> he's obviously a very decent kind of cueist, but he hits that cut break so bad. <laughs> so bad. But the worse he hits them, the better the result. It's kind of whatever works, I suppose. I can't play the first. Cannot play a plant as an opener here. Cannot do it. Just cue the long one in. Oh no. Come on, Josh. Oh. I rated his I rated his game as well. I thought he'd just scream the long one in. I don't get wrong, he's made the plant regardless. But he's gonna have to get back on that one in the centre of the table. I don't want I think you should play it now really as well. And then you can play the one over the right Is it the right? I'm getting confused when the table angle changed. Yeah, the right uh, bottom corner after this. And then you can come around the houses and kind of be on both balls. So play this long one. Stun into the red if you need to. You want to try and find the gap here, so you can play the one nearest the pocket. There you go, just like that. Nice cue in. And now you swing this round two rails. You'd like to be on the one in the centre, really. So a little bit higher than what he is now. So then you can just... Float under the red and then play the yellow with an ang angle to stun up for the eight ball. That needs to go. Okay, so, he's so this is perfect. This is where he'd want to be if he was trying to get on the eight. 
because you can just stun inside the red. It's not easy to get perfect on the yellow to get there. It needs to make sure it's straight. Oh, wow. I cannot play that shot. But it's not me that's there. I think you can play this yellow thin into the pocket with inside English and come two rails back down the line. Anything past the middle pocket and he'll have a shot. So just miss, miss the red. Bit of right hand side. Is it right hand side? I'm confused. It's been a long day. So make sure... No, really? Oh, maybe he thinks he can't miss the red. Yeah, maybe he couldn't miss the red from that angle. Crazy how the camera angles change your perception. So, nothing ideal here. Not sure the red's over the pocket enough to play the eight off the red in the centre. Yeah, the long bank it is. Through the, through the wall of reds. So for the first frame, one long double. There she is, that's what she's aiming for. Bit thick. So Daz comes to the table. Not an easy opener, but one you would make him favourite to get. This one down into the bottom right. That's the one. Oh, he's caught hold of that. Adrenaline, I think they call that. Back in nice position here. So just connect the dots here, really. Just about making sure you're the right side of the last red, just to have a simple stun shot behind it. So maybe it feels like he's running towards the red here. He's been up and down a couple of times. Maybe he's going to come up and then back down again. Yep. If you're not comfortable. So back in prime position and uh, these relatively easy two balls. Just square it up at one apiece.
so uh, decent enough break there from Daz. Not a particularly nice layout. Uh, not gimmies anyway. I think red's are the order of the day. It's just it's just the opener. If this red is on now, s somehow slides down between them all. I think he's looking at taking yellows and kind of trying to screw into the the bad yellow here at some point or play it off the cushion off the red it looks a long way away from the uh, maybe it's easier than it looks if it's a simple in off the cushion off the red then I completely get it especially if it's easy to get position on his next shadow playing it as well So that's pretty good position that. So you can just play this into the cushion and soft screw up for the yellow in the opposite corner. Oh wow. Well for me that's that's an absolute kind of nothing attempt. And uh, I like to play them with confidence. You play that with screw, it the object ball turns into top spin and uh, I'll we'll have a much better chance of making a pocket. And uh, you could have played position there, I believe. But I'm not in the Golden 8 Ball final, so I never have been. Well, that being said, I've never played in it, but I definitely wouldn't have made the final if I had. I'm not on these boys' level. I just talk a good game. Sometimes. Queen in the background, lovely. Strange, I actually think uh, it makes a lot of sense to play the one who's into the top pocket here, even though he's queuing over. It's a bit of a tricky positional shot to just screw up it's a really tetchy shot I think he's decided to play this one because he's not queuing over at least but yeah I thought it was a bit thick It's not exactly a, a potter's delight here. They uh, are a touch tricky. We've got the problem with the two at the top. And whether the one he's bridging over now goes under the yellow. Oh, well, a pot, in the pot in the opener, apparently. Sometimes when you all you can see is problems in taking out the finish you tend to not get as far as maybe you you should anyway you kind of take your eye off the off the pot concerned about what's happening down the line
These boots are made for walking. That's just what they'll do. Daz is ready to take. Oh my goodness, I'm going to sneeze. Oh, excuse me. Great shot that by Daz. And uh, he's walking into a 2 1 lead. Nice little couple of shots that. So frame four, Josh Sanderson to break. Hit that one a bit better. And typically, typically, as I was saying earlier, it's dry. He's definitely better off hitting them badly. It's a strange break, isn't it, that cut break? So yellow is the order of the day. If he's going to play this yellow off the red, he needs to make sure he doesn't hit it so hard that it goes up and gets in the way of those. The yellow by the eight and the yellow on the top rail. So he needs to control this red a little bit or hit it harder so it hits the top rail and comes off. See, there you go. As I said, it not only messed up one of those balls, it messed up both of those balls. So, he's in a pickle here. <laughs> he needs to try and get to the right-hand side of that one down the rail with an angle to come up and disturb the yellow and the eight. Whoopsie. Not the cue ball that Daz was after there. Surely not. Let's say it can't be a gap there. Not the worst. Put the pressure on these red balls. I think, not obviously, I'm not a big fan of going into balls if you don't have to, but it's pretty safe going into this red and yellow here as long as you kind of. Hits them both. Yes, I think he's still, he's still okay. I think he's still on that one on the bulk line, but 
It was a bit of a danger. You could have fallen behind it. That's why I suggested hitting them both. So probably trying to disturb the red on the rail here as well. I just missed it. That's not that's not the end of the world. You can put a good ball, Josh. Stroke it in down the rail. shot that and uh, nicely on this red into the top left hand corner interesting to know whether this red does drop into the left centre or whether he's got a kind of punch into it a little bit yeah it's got the security of knowing that that one over the centre back the right centre back will be on or over the mid in the centre of the table, but obviously you'll end up playing it into the right centre if you play this well. Yeah, you go. Well, that's worked out a really nice treat. So, right centre, left centre, top right corner. What's that going to do? What's he doing? What is he doing? I can only assume the eight only goes in the centre now then. And doesn't go it never went in the corner. He's had us all fooled. That needs to go for a little bit of extra comfort. Double, double checking. Where he wants to hit this one. Find his pot in line. And uh, straight in the centre of the bag. Nice shot, Josh. So that's the break in this fifth frame. And uh, 
He's come up dry. So red's not too bad here. Just that one red to disturb in between the three yellows. Well, nothing's too bad, to be honest. It's just I don't think there's an easy opener on yellows, so... Unless he can get through that gap. It's hard to tell from here. If he can get through the gap and stun into the red as well, I tell you, this would be a huge Brucey bonus. Oh, well, he's, he's in it a bit thick. It'd be nice to have been able to flick off it. I wonder if he's got a shot on here. So not quite enough uh, spin on that one. But he hasn't left a lot and he may have pushed the eight safe to his yellow. So he may have had best second prize there, or prize is even. Not leaving a nice easy opener and pushing the black safe. Or the eight, I should say. Oh, that looks like it's turned in. So, nice opening shot from Jed. Just got to work out how to develop that eight ball. Plenty of balls around it. Probably take one of these ones in the top end of the table now, really. And leave that one over the centre. Give you more options. Well, not sure that's perfect, but it's not the end of the world either. If he can play this one on the bottom rail and just flick the eight, pretty sure he'll be on something, either to the centre or to the right corner. Uh, see, so you didn't hit, you didn't flick it, but I tell you what, if you're going to miss it, miss it like that, because he's left diddly squat on here. Oh, what a shot that is. What a shot indeed. Lovely shot. And uh, just the one problem on the right-hand side to solve, if you can. So you may try and develop this one on the rail here, but has he got the angle 
to stun down. Don't, yeah, it's, it's very close to the cushion. It's going to be a big ask to to get into the uh, yellow on the side of the rail, and that's definitely you're definitely not going to be able to get into it from there. That looks way too thin. No chance. Wow, I'd be very shocked. Like, amazing. I will probably have to walk out if he leaves the cue ball there and manages to get into the yellow. Something's gone wrong with the table, I think. Because this is not a natural free railer. Going way too close to the to the corners. Way, way too close. So, it needs to be almost thick on it and force it. So, short of the best skill shot we may ever see. I think Mark Gray played one like this on uh, the Amateur Pool Championships a couple of years ago. And I've not seen one since. See a line up here, cross double. It's not a million miles away from that. Wow, just, just off lampshades. These kids don't care. Position is overrated. If I can see it, I can pot it. That's their new mantra. Should have tried cross doubling that one and all. <laughs> I tell you, they've got no fear, these young uns. They just just keep going. Well, at that point, I suppose you've not got a lot of choice, but they just they seem to get them more often than not. And I can't, I can't double a ball to save my life, so I suppose there's maybe a hint of jealousy in there somewhere. I've lost where the eight ball is here. I can't remember if he's. Oh, I didn't even see the red ball. I lost that as well. <laughs> lost the plot here. Yeah. So you can just drag this in, kind of two rails, and be perfect on the eight ball here. Yeah. Oh, it's not. Is it? Oh, I just made the second rail. I'd like to have bumped off that. So you make sure you've. tougher than it kind of needed to be I think and that's kind of what threw uh, Daz there and uh, Josh is counting his lucky stars 3-2 ahead with a possible 2 to play, one more for the win
So uh, Josh with uh, his fate in his own hands and breaking for the match. Needing three frames to two. And again, probably one of his better cut breaks, surprisingly. And, uh, and dry again. I, uh, and these yellows are good to go for Daz. These are a connect the dot job. Because I'm pretty sure he hasn't got an easy opening red. I might be wrong, that red might go. To be honest, it doesn't really matter what, what set he takes here, to be honest. He's just got to get them, because you can play no miss pull from now on. Well, I think if you're going to miss, I think that's about the best place you're going to put it. Because that's a nasty, that's a nasty leave. But I think you can queue over. You should queue over and try and pop this one into the bottom left. It's a, I feel like it's a shot to nothing. And if he gets it, he's on his bad ball. There you go. Just get comfortable. Get comfortable and just just try and drop this in. Don't overhit it, just stroke it. It's a good effort. Good effort. And uh, as far as I'm aware, he's left absolutely nothing there. But it had risk reward. Risk reward. That's what you're telling yourself. Yeah, I don't think you can cut that one in, Paul. I might be wrong. But I might be wrong. He might have an edge. It's thin, though. Imagine if he rolls another half inch. He's never got any shot. Uh, it was very thin. Oh, my goodness. Almost got away with murders. Well, has half got away with murders, to be honest, because he's blocked the pocket for all three yellows. Let me have a think about this. What do we fancy? I wonder if he can get across to where his hand is now sort of at some point so here you go if he can play if he can play the one over the left hand pocket and just leave himself straightish on the one along the rail yeah I don't know if he can get to where I want with this shot I think he's happy covering the pocket I think if you land on that right-hand rail, you can play that red, that red, that yellow off the red, the inner one of the three, and that would open the, the pocket up. I need like a little marker pen sometimes. <laughs> Paul, what are we saying for next event? Like next week? You lazy... Lazy toe wreck. You can't get me a little bit of equipment where I can draw on the screens and that. He's shaking his head. What sort of firm is this? Half-hearted efforts. Half-hearted efforts. So, again, I feel like drop the one in the bottom left. Drop the one in. There you go. He's seeing it as well. So do not be surprised. Oh, no. Don't play that one. Don't play this. It's unnecessary. You you have control. Don't do it. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
it is actually hard to see how that could have come out worse. Actually hard. Now, now he's on his own. I'm not even going to make suggestions. He made his bed, he can lie in it. <laughs> this is a right old state. So, 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 do we think, ladies and gents, that this red passes the yellow, or is he doubling it? He's doubling it. And why not, too, with uh, a couple of very awkward yellows? Right, where are we at? Oh dear, dear, dear. I wonder if he plays the one in the centre rolls forward plays the yellow onto the red over the middle and rolls forward and pots the yellow oh my goodness that is not a nice result and rolls forward and pots the yellow over the pocket that would have been a great skill shot but that's no longer on the cards like no longer Well, how about that for a positional shot, ladies and gentlemen? Bit of okay, wasn't it? He needs to play a similar kind of shot here, though. No? Now, though, God, tongue twi tied. Punch it off the rail with uh, left-hand side. Head back towards the yellow and red. You've got to play it. There's no point keep hotting these balls unless you're going to develop something. There's... Punch this in. Oh. So, pretty sure all these reds go now. And, uh, well, maybe it doesn't, you know. Maybe you can't get that. I just assumed you could. From above it, I was just assumed you, you could drop that in. Wow. Let's have a look. Oh, maybe not, you know. God, oh, where's my glasses? Anyone see my glasses? I'm assuming. I think you can drop that in. But I tell you, I, I've got time for that. He's a dirty little monkey. Very dirty little monkey. So, hold on to your hats, ladies and gentlemen. 
Got to go two rails. And try and slot this in the centre pocket. Pretty sure at this point Josh will take any sort of decent contact and a good result and a good leave. He'll take that for sure. So just drop this in. Try and get on the one over the over the pocket. And then you can come one rail out. That will do nicely. So just float across the back of this red ball. Wow. This is actually a touch awkward, you know. If he's straight on this. If he's straight on this, he might have to... I don't Might have to try and screw back to where his hand... Oh, he's, he's, going, he's trying to force this. Oh, he's not even nowhere near straight. He milked it. I don't know what he was looking around for. Outrageous. Fuming. Just... <laughs> just dramatising. And once again, we have a hill hill match for our men's final this time.
Right, that is it. I've had enough. Someone must win it in this frame. Or I'm going home. Alright. I'm just telling you now. If someone doesn't win this men's final very soon. I'm going on strike. One more frame, that's all you get. Who do we fancy? I think we've got a fancy Josh as it is at the table. Not sitting on the fence. I'll take Josh for a pound if Paul would like Daz. Pound is on. I've got the thumbs up. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Cash out, 67p. No! <laughs> Computer says no. Oh no. What a disaster. One visit. I should have just waited one more visit before I pick my pony. Come on, Josh, you redeem yourself here. Just sums up my luck. Nice shot there. Nice shot. My pound may be safe after all. <laughs> we may have lost our technical director to Facebook for the next 45 minutes or the evening. <laughs> he's got one of them faces on where he's like, ooh, popcorn. <laughs> oh, banging naughty tune. This is not bad. You can play this in the uh, top right and screw down the line. Come on, Josh. Win me a pound. Well,
So Daz with his first decent look at uh, a wide open table for the win. He is not quite perfect on this bottom yellow because I think he, I don't think he can avoid the one on the rail. I'd tend to play the one in the middle first here. Oh, he could. Wow, the camera angles, Paul. Can we have more camera angles next year, please? And uh, I don't really like to think about this, but it's kind of a well-played Daz, and here's a pound pole kind of moment, this. He's had himself together really well. He's never really kind of... I think he went 1-0 up, but I think he's been behind from 2-1, I think. Could be wrong kind of lost track a little bit but it felt like he struggled to kind of get across lines and that's perfect so ladies and gentlemen your 2023 golden eight ball men's champion none other than the one and only Daz Cheatham there you go commiserations to young Josh I'm sure he'll be back and I'm sure he'll make many more finals and maybe even win a few how cool was that huh what a crowd thank you for joining us ladies and gents we'll be back shortly I think with more entertaining eight ball